Welcome to 3rd with Molly. I'm Molly Sanger and I'm so excited for tonight's episode because tonight I get to trim last week's pots. And tonight's episode is being brought to us all by one of my favorite products, it's Diamond Core Tools. So I'm so excited to have this night's episode of Throne with Molly sponsored by Diamond Core Tools. My favorite Diamond Core Tools. Guys, if you don't have one of these, it makes, so tonight I'm trimming plates. This is what JL and I threw last week. JL, thank you for throwing with me. That was so fun. And if y'all missed that episode, it's on my website. I do like highlights, so it's not the full episode. But tonight I'm trimming last night's plates. So what's good about this, is without the diamond core sticky pads that I'm obsessed with trimming with, you have to center it, which I still center on those, but then you have to put a lug of clay, and then to hold the clay, the plate to the bat, your lug, you can only trim like to there, if that. This, you put this on and you can just trim all the way down. That's why, that's why I love it. So, you have options with these. Sometimes, recently, I've been using the sticky bat because it's already on a bat. So I just put this on my wheel like I'm throwing a bat. Okay, so my sticky bat's on. So I just put this on like a bat. I have the holes. They stick on the screws. Now I'm ready. And you can see I have like old lines that I used to put on there, but now it's actually just dirty. So I can kind of see my center line. This is really because I have like a built-in center mark from just trimming so much. I just eyeball it, but you can just take a pen. I just use a ballpoint pen, the same pen. I sign it like I'm famous with. I brace my elbows and just drop it like a record player. And it makes a line. See, now I have a line. And that just washes off later, or I just keep it because then it's already has a center line. So trimming, trimming with my sticky bat. So I just put the bat on, I have my pot. It's like leather hard. I can touch it, I can move it, and it doesn't move. That's like all on the surface. This is not trimmed yet. It's like really thick. Okay, so first step to centering to trim, you have to eyeball it. Just like that does not look centered. So first just eyeball it. And put it right in the center. And you kind of look, is it too thick, too thin? And then you can just eyeball it right to the center. And then I have three ways of checking. One, needle tool. Get it spinning. Put your elbows against your body and just drop the needle tool kind of close to the edge of the plate. Um, and you look at that circle. Does it look centered? Does it look off-centered? And it looks off-centered. It looks thicker here and thinner there. So wherever it's thicker, it's sticking out further, so you have to shift it to that thinner spot just a little. So I find the middle of that off-centered circle, shift it slightly, and then redraw my circle. All right, so right now I'm just looking for that circle to look centered, and if it's off center, I slightly shift it in the direction to center that circle. The other method is needle tool again. And I brace my elbows so it's anchored, and at three o'clock, I just kind of, and this is three o'clock, this is reverse. This is my right hand, this is my three o'clock, that's nine o'clock. Brace my elbow, and I just draw that needle tool in closer, closer, closer until it touches, and I hold it really anchored, and let it spin. If it, if it touches all the way, evenly around, it's centered. So like, this is not centered, which I can see, because I, I can eyeball it, it's not centered. Brace my elbow, Pin tool comes closer. As soon as I make a mark, I just say steady right there. And it's touching, not, touching, not, touching, not, touching, not. Then you can stop it and see where was it touching. So, it was touching, where's my mark? Guys, right there, right there. So it stuck out and scratched my needle tool there. So that means it's sticking out further that way. So I have to push it where it's not sticking out. So it made a mark, it bumped out, touched my needle tool over there. So I'm gonna get the center of where it touched, the center of where it didn't touch, and then slightly shift. The last method, which is the one I like, is just use my fingers to do all of that. So at first it took me a while to like, I needed the visual of seeing the circle off center or not. And so I just like the, the mark that the needle tool leaves. However, I like my fingers. So I eyeball it first. And then I put my elbows against my body and just bring my middle fingers in like I'm trying to center the pot. And I just feel where the sway is. So it's kind of like, let me off center this. So I'm anchored and I'm kind of looking at this finger and that finger, but touch, no, pick one finger, pick one finger. This finger, touch, not, touch, not. So I can stop it and it didn't touch my finger there. So I know to shift it towards my finger. And then I just anchor and embrace, touch, not, touch, not, touch, not. And where it doesn't touch, I need to shift it just a little bit. And then I like to get both fingers and know that it feels like no boop, 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 just center. 
Okay, so that's centering. But to before you even flip it over to center, you want to figure out where your foot transitions. So this one is flat, 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 and it transitions like there. So I match that on the back with my fingernail and put a fingernail mark. You see it? So where that fingernail mark is, I'm gonna put my elbows against my body, get it spinning, and at three o'clock, again, this is my right hand, I'm just gonna drop my trim tool on that fingernail mark. Boop, get it spinning. My hands, my right hand is anchored, left hand's anchored, they're working together. This hand's kind of pressing down. This one's kind of, my index finger's controlling the pressure, they're connected, and then get it spinning, find your fingernail mark, and just drop the trim tool. Okay. So once you've made a circle where your fingernail mark is, you're gonna go, don't go inside of that fingernail mark, inside of that circle, don't do that yet. You're just gonna come on the outside and go down and then curve, down and then curve. And it just depends on how thick your plate is. So I'm gonna center this again. Again, because I have a diamond core sticky mat, it, I don't need a lug of clay. It just sticks on this thing. Circle and I'm gonna go down and curve on the outside of that circle. So my hands are connected, trim tool is ready to go down. This hand's connected with downward pressure. This is when you could use a trimmer spinner, and this just distributes that pressure. So you know how that's like the thinnest part of your pot, and how many of you have just pushed, and then boop, it goes all the way through. I mean, coffee mugs, whoop, all the way through, whoops. But you can put this, and it kind of redistributes that pressure, and then you just press down on that, and it kind of spins with your finger, it's kind of fun. And it gives you those measuring, so you can divide up your foot into thirds, eighths, sevenths, ninths, fourths, fifths. Okay, but this is really thick and nice and wide, so I'm just gonna use my fingers. My hands are always connected. Okay, now when you're trimming, this is what you're looking for. This is like trimming heaven. You're looking for these ribbons, and if I squeeze it, they don't stick together, they just crumble. And that crumble. Guys, that's like perfection. Look, they're, they're spirals, like linguine. But the other thing is they, they could turn to dust. If they turn to dust, it's too dry. If you squeeze it and it makes ball of light, it's too wet. But if you get those, whoop, just like that. Oh, it's like, use it for that. And look, Whippy's like singing perfectly to it. So I'm just working on the outside. Hands are connected. My left hand's press, pressing down. My right finger's in control. And I'm just being very anchored. Because you know, sometimes it wants to like, boop, boop, and get you, but you're the boss. All this against your body. And then now I'm just pressing down. Again, I'm not going inside of that fingernail mark. Ooh, look at this. Y'all see that? Like I see it. Oh. It's just perfect. Look at that. Look. Y'all can't make that up. It's like they knew we were going live tonight dripping. So here's the beauty of the, of the diamond core. As I'm fading the pressure down, you know, sometimes you can only get to one spot in the lug of glazers. So you have like a line around the lip. This I can turn all the way down. So I'm just pressing down and I'm gonna gradually fade until I gently relax the pressure and they get to the lip. Hands stay connected if possible. And there we go, that fade, rotate, rotate, fade back a little bit. And I'm just staying on the outside of where that fingernail line was. And before I flipped it over, I kind of took inventory of how thick this plate was. So I kind of know how much I can trim. Okay, and then I'll stop and kind of check it out. So that's what it's looking like, just the outside. Now we'll be doing the inside. So before I do that, I just want to feel the thickness because with clay, you're always trying to go for even thickness and that's why we're trimming because right now that's really thick and solid. So by trimming it, I even it out and I also create a nice foot for it to sit on and elevate it a little bit. Um, but this is what it looked like before. It's kind of really thick and then we're kind of trimming just the outside down, kind of shaping that. But the solid, the inside's still solid. So this one can hang on over there. Now, if that's the outside of my foot, I like to think of it as a donut that sits on the top of the bowl. So if that's the outside, I just need a circle that, that draws the inside of the donut, and then I'm gonna remove all the stuff and just leave a donut sitting there. Now, for the inside, I'm gonna take that corner. Again, this is like my favorite tool. Brace my elbows against my body, and if that was the outside, I'm just gonna drop this on the inside and make a circle on the inside. I'd like to make this a little thicker because I can always take more off, but you can't really put it back on. So I'm here. Normally I'm gonna be taking my plate on and off and recentering this much, but because I can take it off and on because of this sticky bat, 
I'm gonna show you every step of the way. So I just did the outside, there's the inside circle. So this is my foot, that donut. It like sits on the edge of the foot where it curves and then this. So I'm gonna go from center to three o'clock. This is my nine o'clock, this is my right hand. Center to three and stop at that line. And then back to center, back to that line, back and just stop and just remove the inside. All right, so center this again. Like I like to catch that center part first and then slowly go out to three o'clock. So I'm gonna brace my elbows against my body. Hands are always connected. My left hand is pressing down. My right hand is slowly letting it rotate and going out to three o'clock. And look at these nice little trimmings. And as I get to that line, I'm gonna kind of relax my pressure. Let it rotate, rotate. And I'm gonna slowly come back. Three to center, center to three. Center to three, three to center. Center to three. So again, regardless of how I'm trimming, you always wanna like keep your pot centered. So you're, if you're pressing here, you're balancing it. And if you're here, you can work together, but you always wanna balance. And then, you can kind of tap, and I usually go from center to three, and it's usually thicker where that foot is and thinner, again, in that thin spot, which is where you can push through, unless you use a trimming spinner, that kind of redistributes the pressure, and does it, unless you push through it right there. Um, so this is what it's looking like. I'm kind of removing the inside. There's still some ways to go. But you can see I've gone from center to three, and I kind of fade that pressure, so I'm like this donut on top. I like, it, again, to go back and forth, forth between trim tools, I do like this one because that rounded edge is nice to catch the center. So when I go for the center, I put my elbows against my body, I hold it with both hands, and I just drop the trim tool at center, letting it rotate until it catches, and then slowly going over to three o'clock. And just let it rotate before you move. So I'm here and it rotates, and then I'm here and it rotates, and then I'm here, but instead of picking it up, I'm just gliding. You want it to rotate several times. And I do like the quick pace because then it cuts through your trim tool really easily. And I love to always finish with a metal rib tool. If you can bend it, it makes it really firm. Um, yeah. So notice my hands are connected. My right hand has the rib tool. My left hand is balancing the pressure. Quick pace, being patient as I go into center, slowly coming off. Now, I, I kind of like to fade this foot. So I just allow my pressure to do that. And the shape of the rib, I picked, we'll translate, so if I use that sharp corner, it's gonna make a sharp corner. So right on top, skim that off. Skim it off there a little, just fade that little foot. Smooth up the top, and then just run this rib maybe one more time to the center. I'm always fading my pressure. Okay, so feel the weight, it feels too thick. If it feel, pinch it, like there's a little extra thickness right there, but because of the shape of the foot, I kind of need a little extra. But this is the plate that JL threw last week. This one we just trimmed. I just talked to you all through it. I'll be quicker this time so I can maybe chat with y'all. This is the one that has not been trimmed. So you throw it, it looks nice on the top. You cut it, you flip it, the bottom looks kind of yucky. And then you trim, get rid of that thickness, shape it up. Okay, so next one. Flat, it curves, thin arc. Sharp corner tool. Okay, so where that fingernail mark was, right there. I'm gonna brace my elbows, drop my corner tool, and just make a circle. Now I'm just gonna trim the outside. These ribbons are great. All right, and this is the beauty of diamond cord tools. I can trim all the way down to the left. Usually you have a lug of clay to hold your pot on. So I'm just pressing, fading that pressure all the way to the left, fading it back. So I'm just going from center to three, three to center, removing the inside, and just removing some of that thickness and shaping to get that foot. And I do like a quick pace, light pressure, letting it rotate. And remember, it's always better to take out, need to take out a little more, because you can always take out more, but you can't put it back. And then it's true. So cheers, thanks for watching. They're with Molly, thank you, Diamond Core Tools. Check the link in my bio to click their website. You can check all their products out there. So cheers, I'll see y'all next Monday. Hopefully we'll be back Monday. No tornadoes next Monday. Cheers.